Trav's got me on a wild goose chase here. We're looking we're for mile seven. We're looking for Victron. Walk completely out of the city. Go show what's over there, Brad. And it's we are out of the city. We're in Hayfields. There's still supposed to be a Victron dealer up here. It's only 1.2 miles away. I said we'd see cows if we kept walking, and I think it's going to be close. But we are literally probably 67 miles from the boat now. And uh, propane is not easy to find in Spain. So they have butane for homes, but not propane. So it's going to be another fun little adventure here just to get that. And uh, we got thunderstorms in the background that are brewing. I forgot to mention, it's also Trav's birthday! Cada día doy las gracias a esta vida. Cada día me nace nueva melodía. Yo sabía que algún día llegaría mi alegría pasar el tiempo. Side passerelles. More fenders, just in case. We have, I think, 16 fenders on board now. So I guess what's going to happen is when we pull in, we'll just go straight in front of the dock. We'll back in, and we'll have stern lines ready. We'll pass them our stern lines, and then they'll pass us the um, mooring lines to run to the front of the boat and tie to the cleats on the front. Got it? You're supposed to say something. What? You're supposed to say something in I got response it. to that. Say that yes. sounds fantastic. Um. What side are we docking on yet? Oh, geez, you're docking? Yeah, in here. I'm scared. Oh, geez. I'm scared of that thing. I 
Okay, this is Bob's first walk across. Call rooms. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> Classic. This one's quite classic here. You can see here, you see the monster corrosion on the aluminium, and then you see the, the copper here with the green and the oxide on here. So obviously this area got properly wet, and what's happened is this has actually been going across the cell. These cells can produce an incredible amount of amperage. So if you put salt water across here, which is an electrolyte, that will actually just corrode straight across. And so basically here you see it's blown the aluminium to pieces and that will have blown the structure of the top of the cell as well underneath that to pieces. Because what it's been doing is been wanging between here and here. Where you stay dry, you see you've got virtually no, no game going on. But as soon as you get a, an electrolyte into one of these, salt water is an electrolyte. Fresh water, you can, basically these things can bathe in. They don't care because fresh water doesn't conduct electricity, salt water does. So that's salt water damage that's, that's absolutely blown that thing to pieces. Um, so, uh, so can we rebuild this? Well, looking at these, if you get these out and find that the bottom doesn't, because the, the little plastic that's on them, you see they've got a green plastic on the, on the cell itself. Um, that is actually folded on, so it's waterproof from the bottom. So it's waterproof to this height on the cell structure itself. So as long as no water's got in between that, that green plastic and down, so the aluminium is actually all right, yeah. then you might be able to farm, like if you look at this one, you can see you can farm about half, and here you can farm about half of the cells. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, basically, you can see the salt water has been in this one as well, very heavily. You can see salt water all over the the, B, the BMS board here. Um, you can see the damage between this and the main post. But also, very importantly, you can see inside the lid here. You've got a lot of corrosion blown aluminium here, but also you see this section that looks like solvent damage or acid damage. That solvent damage means that the battery itself has been boiling off. And that's one of the byproducts of the, the electrolyte coming out. And that corrosion there is from it actively blowing. This is about worst case scenario for an LFP. Um, so you can see here, this has actually attacked the plastic. Whereas with something like an NMC battery, you'll have fire. This is actually worst case scenario for one of these guys. This was probably spurting out um, fumes. As I said, if this was the other chemistry, you would have had a major fire on the boat. Yes. And the fact that this, yeah, this is this is not cheap because you're taking a load of damage, but the um, all said and done, it's, it's actually better than it could be. We still you, have gotta, a, you gotta remember as we well. We still have a boat right now. Yeah. And if, you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if, if not without uh, not, not in life, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, when this happened, so I, when I see this in the water, and it all I can think of is like the waves that we're in. Like it's just like yeah, yeah. Where, where is your life, right? Here, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you had chance. Yeah. Okay, so here we go again. We have a updated Victoron setup on hang time now. Uh, during the crossing. It, uh, we took on some major waves uh, off the coast of Portugal and they're coming over a port side. So there was like feet of water uh, rushing down. Uh, when our power went off at 5 a.m., there was water all over the batteries, the uh, BMS and everything. So it turns out, I'm going to take the batteries apart, but it turns out that uh, there's probably salt within the batteries. They're not rated at all for any type of water. Even water droplets can seep in, can... Uh, kill a cell in these batteries. So the new setup that I have in front of me here 
is um, an integrated BMS system from Victron. It has a shunt, has your integrated BMS, um, as well as your high-low battery disconnects. Uh, so we do those all individually before. Um, now being all combined together in a nice little package is pretty sweet. Um, this thing here goes directly to your servo uh, if you have a Victron. Uh, so it's communicating directly with it, uh, getting online, changing parameters, everything for it. Uh, this is my um, battery input here. Uh, I think we spent like 14,000 US um, on three batteries. This whole setup, a new multi, uh, a bunch of cabling, fuses, um, DC, 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 and a couple other small things. Penny's coming up to inspect. Jeez. That's a lot of wires. <laughs> Easy. You got the power right there, baby. I got power. Okay. Ugh. And then you wipe your hands on the flag, really? No. You did. Uh, we got a lot of boat repairs done. We're finally cruising as a family. Just five of us, really. And uh, we went over to Soye today on the water. This place is unbelievable. So it, uh, Tisa got off the dock, got onto the dock, and said, oh my gosh, we have arrived in the bed. And that's what exactly what it feels like here. You. <laughs> This little tween here. This little tween all day. I would is never. Tweening. No, it just feels so good. It's like laid back, such a cool vibe. Dad, it's beautiful. This town is no, just awesome. My, my feet are so stoked to be here. Except those garbage bins. So stoked to be here. Yeah, show a nice spot. There we go. I don't know if you can see those mountains where we hide us. They are massive. Your hats and hair is too big. Oh, no, no, that doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't that's do all about it. No, no, no. That yes. Doesn't. No, 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 no. Anyway, really happy to be here. Last night in Spain, though, we're passing over tomorrow, and we're going to go up toward the south of France and find a few things to do there. You have to let me. Go ahead, what? I, was I was just about to say, I'm happy that we're not the kind of family that takes pictures of our food, and then you took a picture of that. Truly! Shoot! Okay, there's still plenty, but still a lot. <laughs> Come 
ponerle. What are you talking about? How was your day, guys? It was actually really good, surprisingly. Um, it was fun. Going on a trolley, going to the beach, swinging. You got a couple new moves swinging? Oh, yeah. Like? Flips, tricks, flips, skaters. Yeah. You're looking uh, pretty rad out there now, man. Really? You are ready for guy surfing. What are you, Benny? Okay, oh, it's a lot of soccer. We gotta go find a pitch. Yep. Football pitch. A lot of ice cream. Yep. A lot of tapas. And maybe tomorrow we leave Spain. We thought it was today, but maybe tomorrow. I think also, we should wait another day. 